Look at this. It says P equals to A W plus B. What is it saying now? P has this identity. For you to get P, you need to work this out to get P. The question is not saying. Make W the subject of formula. It's like P is a king. Now there is quarry. There is fight. We need to dethrone P and make W the king. Out. Step by step. All it means is W should be alone. Every other guys, every other variables should go to the other side. All the constants are variables. That is, whatever that is with W, move. Ah, okay. The first thing that must move is this guy that is not even close to W, this neighbor. One thing you must know is divide at times they work together. Y plus and minus they work together. What is this? Plus. We need minus to move it to the other side. How? So we say this minus B, that is equals to A W capital letter B minus B. This B minus B, this one I just put, is helping me to remove this B from the right hand side. Because I did this operation on the right hand side, I must also do the operation on the left hand side. That is the meaning. Because we said equal. Equal means whatever operation you do at the right hand side or at the left hand side must be done on the other side. So with this now, we have P minus B equals to A W. W is not still alone. W has somebody with it. We say A multiplied by W. That is the meaning. We know that between them, there is multiplication. Now, as you have seen here, we use divide to remove multiplication. So for this a to go, we say divide by A. That is the only way W can remain alone. Because I did this operation on this right hand side, I must also do the operation on the left hand side. So what is remaining here now is W. This is P minus B all over A. I can leave it like this or I write it, I put W here first, equals to P minus B over A. So this is the identity of W. W is not their king. This is what we are asked to look for. Okay? 